What's good? How you feeling? <laughs> it's your host, Kia Flo. Mm-hmm. And you are tuned in to episode nine of WKFLO Rhythm Release, where the flow just don't stop. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> You can already tell if you're watching on YouTube that the flow don't stop. But just the sheer fact that you are listening and watching whichever way you can shows that the flow don't stop. Because like I told you, I'm going to keep cranking it out. And I just want to go ahead and start this episode off by giving thanks. I want to give thanks to all of my viewers, everybody that is watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. I appreciate it. Thank you to Anchor, YouTube, and Spotify always for the platform. And everybody who has joined my new Facebook group, WKFLO Rhythm Release. Thank you all for interacting and just, you know, let me know that what I'm doing matters. <laughs> I really, really, really appreciate it. And so I'm going to continue with every episode to give thanks. And of course, to my creator, the Heavenly Father, for giving us these talents and gifts. You know, it's, <laughs> it does not... It is not being taken for granted, at least not by me. It took me a while to figure out, at least as a child uh, and a young adult, what I wanted to do, but I'm definitely in my lane, and that is talking, talking to the people. But, you know, thank you always for just coming. Um, As always, we have an amazing show for you all tonight. I'm excited. It actually has been on my mind and in my thoughts since the idea came initially came to me and uh, I talked about it in episode 8 gave a shout out to Blood Brother Mike uh, for this tidbit Uh, but Kathy Hughes it was just a reminder that Kathy Hughes is definitely someone worth highlighting and I'm going to make sure I do that on this episode because she is who we will be highlighting and uh, once I started doing research on her I was just like dang I've heard her name and I'm gonna be honest I gotta keep it real I heard her name and could never tie her permanently to what it is she created And I'm, of course, going to get into that. Uh, Let me give me some libations real quick. What y'all drinking on? Depending on when you're watching this or listening to it, you know, you may not be drinking on what it is that I'm drinking on. But it's okay. Got me a little sangria. (laughs) You know, got to just keep it cute. Keep it cute. But anyway... I can't wait to uh, share with you more about Kathy Hughes. For those of you who do not know who she is, you'll learn a little bit today. And I encourage you to go out and do further research. YouTube has all of the information that you could possibly think of. Um, So again, we will be highlighting her. And again, we are giving you nothing but the hits from the then and the now. And... I'm telling you, tonight's episode, tonight's playlist, I can't wait. I always say that I cannot wait until it's published on Spotify so that I can listen to it because I want to hear my voice and go with the music as well. If you don't have a Spotify, y'all need to go ahead and get one. I mean, I got Spotify and Tidal. Uh, Or you can um, switch out your subscription, shoot. Um, I would love to build my 
playlists on title but i use spotify more but you know they they still got me they still got me on title so um do that and every once in a while just come on over to spotify real quick and uh listen to wkflo even if you just i ain't gonna tell you i ain't gonna tell you how to you know get around but it's 20 episodes uh a season I think in one month's time, you can listen to a whole season, an entire season. So I'll let you be the judge of that. But either way, I think that the music playing with what it is that I am sharing goes so much deeper. But whatever you do, you. As long as if you're on YouTube, you make sure you subscribe. So I have talked my behind off. And with that, I'm going to just go ahead and get into the episode. Y'all, this is The Drifters with There Goes My Baby, 1959. Y'all listen to this one and uh, y'all come back. This is WKFLO, Rhythm Release, Weather Flow, Just Don't Stop. Welcome back. Those two songs you just heard starting us off was The Drifters, There Goes My Baby, 1959. I was introduced to that one from Time Life. And actually, when I was looking for a song in the 50s, I saw it. I was like, ooh, I ain't heard this one in a minute. So I was happy to get that one on this particular episode. And then uh, we went to the 70s, 1978, with Rufus and Shaka Khan with their song, Best of Your Heart. Now, I was sitting outside a few weeks ago and started listening to the Best of Shaka Khan. And this one came up and I was like, ooh. <laughs> I like that groove. <laughs> I love that one. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that one. And listen, do not hesitate to either go to the group or go to YouTube and leave information about music that you love, any uh, knowledge that you have about the songs that have been played anything please don't hesitate to do so or just say hey girl i'm watching you that really you know it warms my heart it makes me feel like until until the money start coming in not that i'm necessarily doing it for money but who wouldn't want to you know be able to profit uh off of their talents and, and excuse me who would not want to live comfortably off of their talents there are a lot of amazing talented people out here myself included that are not living the lifestyle that we probably should now whether that is my fault or our fault i don't know it could be my fault i i will admit that i could do a little more on my part and that's what i'm working towards uh it was just it was it was a lot for me to get adjusted to charlotte and so some things got neglected but since becoming a spoken word artist and performer i have always made sure that i keep my ear to the streets and do what i need to to maintain some sort of visibility or at least just get my art and creativity out of there so this is a great way for me to do so and i thank you again for being on long on the ride but um hopefully again you enjoy those two um we're gonna go ahead into 1982 um because i'm ready to go ahead and highlight uh kathy hughes but this is my boy michael jackson he's making his second debut on rhythm release and this is his song lady in my life 1982 a beautiful song so y'all tune in and listen up and come back this is wk flo rhythm release with the flow just don't stop
Did you enjoy that one? King of Pop, Micah Jackson, Lady in My Life, 1982. Come on, somebody. Beautiful song. Such a classic. Um, Perfect person, I feel, to uh, introduce or perfect person to introduce this powerhouse or maven as she has been uh, called Kathy Hughes. And so it goes. Radio Maven Kathy Hughes was born in Omaha, Nebraska in 1947. Beginning her career in radio in 1969, Hughes' first position was with KOWH, a black radio station in Omaha. Her successes there prompted the Howard University School of Communications to offer her a position as a lecturer and as an assistant to the Dean of Communications. In 1973, Hughes was named General Sales Manager to WHUR-FM in Washington, D.C., and by 1975 was hired as the General Manager of the station. Under her guidance, WHUR-FM, which had been struggling along with 300,000 in annual sales revenues increased its annual revenues to more than 3.5 million. If you turned on the radio station in 1975, you'd probably hear Love Will Keep Us Together by Captain and Tennille or Frankie Valley's My Eyes Adored You. But not on WHUR during the late night hours. That year, Kathy Hughes invented the Quiet Storm radio format, which was a late night show featuring a mix of rhythm and blues along with soul and jazz, which often was hosted by a DJ with a soothing baritone voice. (laughs) The format quickly grew in popularity, becoming a mainstay on more than 480 stations across the country. From inventing the Quiet Storm format to providing a platform for Black on-air and musical talent, Hughes has made what African-American audiences want to hear her number one priority throughout her long and storied career. Today is the founder She is the founder and chairperson of Urban One, the largest African-American owned and operated broadcast company in the country. She also regularly presents as the historical Black Howard University, educating and empowering the next generation of African-American broadcasters. Uh, Listen, she has the distinction of being the first African-American woman to head a media company publicly traded on the U.S. Stock Exchange, and she continues to serve as chairperson of Radio One. And also in 2004, Hughes launched TV One, a cable television channel targeted at African-American communities. So listen... (sighs) That was the life and story of Kathy Hughes in just a small nutshell. Because I'm telling you, some of the videos, and I actually may put uh, some of them down below in the com- in the description box, but she, she did some things, especially on Washington, D.C. And I also have a little treat for you all that will be permanent on rhythm release and it's because I was watching her various uh, videos and reading up on her and she talked about the late great Petey Green and if you do not know who he is for one of course you know read up on him but also watch uh, Talk To Me which uh, uh, stars Don Cheadle and Taraji P. Henson that is a great movie and uh, extremely funny to me for some reason but beautiful story about P.D. Green and the fixture that I have on this show is solely because of P.D. Green so y'all uh listen up for that but we're also going to make sure i i cover him if i'm doing podcasting in a quiet storm radio format 
I can't just cover artists. You know, this is about music and flotainment is about arts and entertainment. But of course, this particular show, we are focusing on uh, R&B music, but I'm also going to highlight uh, media personalities that had an effect on African-American music and art. And Kathy Hughes, it should not be left out. And that's why if you read um, my um, bio or anything like that about the particular episodes, I say that I stand corrected. There will be some corrections made. You all know episode one and episode 10 in particular, maybe a few other episodes, I have mentioned Melvin Lindsay as being the originator of The Quiet Storm. And although that may be true as far as his voice and the music that was selected, it was Kathy Hughes. Um, that created the quiet stone. Okay. And I want to stand corrected on that. I did not give her her flowers because I was not as knowledgeable about, about it. When I was inspired to do this, it was because they covered Melvin Lindsay, but they did talk about Kathy Hughes. I just did not dive deep into her. And that's where I got to give big brother Mike, or excuse me, blood brother Mike a shout out. And with that, I want to just uh, read this little tidbit. And it says there were other hosts of the quiet storm before Lindsay Hughes says there was Don Roberts a senior who was a television major uh, he was so sharp he got pulled away to a full-time job on television uh, when a DJ was absent Melvin's best friend Jack Schuler lasted all of one minute visibly trembling and feeling nauseous about the thought of going on air Hughes worked hard at talking Lindsay into trying they spent hours going through her record collection and Lindsay's collection and then there was the first time she got him on air as a fill-in he was worse than Jack Hughes says he was going into hysterics I was shaking him and I wasn't getting anywhere he was a big kid so pow I slapped him he was like thank you I was tripping. I said, if you don't want to do it, let me know. He said, no, no, I'm fine now. The switchboard lit up that May of 1976, that night when the audience heard the silky voiced young man a few words, Lindsay made an immediate impact around the city with just a simple sign on and sign off and a streamline of non-stop love ballads that told a story. So that is the correction. Um. I still have to stand firm in the fact that this was created because of Melvin Lindsay, but on the seat next to him, beside him, is the woman that created it. You hear what I'm saying? And those two together um, created something amazing that I'm just putting my little spin on. So we're going to go ahead and uh, keep this uh, moving right along. We're going to 1992 with your girls Jay with their song, One Woman a classic for me. I love it. Hopefully you do too. Uh, Y'all tune in and listen up and come back. This is WKFLO Rhythm Release. Weather flow. Just don't stop. <laughs> Hopefully you all enjoyed those. Starting us off again was Jade with One Woman that came out in 1992. And then that song you just heard was Insane by Eric Benet, which came out in 2016. Um, <clears throat> we're actually gonna skip the uh, early 2000s and what well, like the 60s this episode, but either way, hopefully you enjoyed the playlist. I hope y'all ain't think I forgot. <laughs> I hope y'all ain't think I forgot. Just because I ain't said it at the beginning, please don't 
don't for one second think that I forgot that y'all need y'all history lesson. On this day in black music history, uh, the number one song was Martha and the Vandellas with their song Heat Wave, which came out in 1963. And then born on September 28th was Coco Taylor, born in 1935. Happy birthday to everyone celebrating a birthday on the 28th of September. This month is coming to an end, y'all. Few things that happened. 1946, the Ink Spots charted with To Each His Own, reaching number three R&B and number one pop. The song was written for the film of the same name, but never used in it. Hmm. Gotta look into that. And then also, uh, 1987, Smokey Robinson and Gladys Knight guested for a week on the TV show, $10,000 Pyramid. Okay, I know that's right. And then 1996, Gladys Knight, Shaka Khan, Brandy, and Tamia sang together on the hit Missing You from the film Set It Off. It recorded, the record, excuse me, reached number 25 pop and number 10 R&B. So those are a few things that happened on this day in black music history. Hopefully you enjoyed those. I do want to plug myself because I have not done that yet on this uh, series. This is my book, As the Flow Goes, came out in 2018. If you don't have a copy, make sure you get one. Check out my website, kiaflow.com. Or if you want to get a personal signed copy, email me at booking at kiaflow.com. Just wanted to give myself a quick plug. Ain't nothing wrong with it, right? Oh, okay then. Um, aside from the fact that I still haven't forgotten about my fixture that I have, I just want to thank you all for listening as always. If you have any questions or concerns, email me at info at flotainment.com. Any uh, links that you need to know about will be in the description box below the YouTube video. And other than that, just make sure you subscribe and follow me on Spotify. Um, listen, I'm just here to put a groove in you. I have no control over what you go out in this world and do. But as long as the moves made benefit more than just you, don't be afraid to allow the music in your heart to supersede you. Now, when it's all said and done, the patient will have the last laugh, while greed and grief will knock the impatient off that path. You see, money didn't come into circulation when it touched their hands. So what's destined for you and me can't be stopped by no man. I'm your host, Kia Flo, and this is WKFLO Rhythm Release, where the flow just don't stop. Peace.